Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. I am Mr. Carrot and this is the Casablanca Chess Week. So in Casablanca, Morocco, they invited four players from uh, four different continents and they are playing in something they call it the Casablanca variant. So they will give them like a, um, a random position that happened in one of uh, like the, the most like historical games and they need to start the game from that exact position. So there's no theory, nothing except uh, you know, trying to understand the position uh, yourself. And in round one, they chose a very beautiful position that happened in um, a beautiful match between Chigorin and uh, Steinitz in uh, 18, um, 1893, I believe, or 94. So uh, Hikaru is playing in round one against Amin Basim, and he's playing... Um, uh, is playing white and of course uh, like I said uh, four players from four continents and the players are Hikaru, I mean Basim from Africa, uh, Vichy from Asia and Magnus from uh, Europe. So the position was e4, e5, knight to uh, f3, knight to, uh, to c6, uh, bishop to, to c4, bishop to c5 and here we have the events gambit that happened in the, the game between uh, Shigorin and Steins, uh, bishop takes uh, c3, bishop back to a5, castles, queen to f6, and now d4, knight to e7, and bishop to g5, queen to d6, and queen to b3, castles, and rook to d1, and here, bishop to b6. So this is the position that the players need to start the game from. And this is a very chaotic position, to be honest, uh, to, to start it, because there's like a lot of lines and you need to calculate you can probably study this position for for days not like uh for for only 15 minutes hikaru here choose to to play uh bishop back to f1 and here um i mean uh kind of took a lot of time because it's a very chaotic position and he took on d4 uh here pawn takes and here uh you can't take immediately because there's a lot of um, a lot of uh, like tactics with with the bishop, uh, with knight takes, but here he went for knight to g6 first. He's now preparing to take, which of course there's also a lot of tactics there. But he played knight knight to g6. This is not the best move you want to to really play because you have a lot of problems. Uh, this bishop is so bad. This queen is taking the the pawn from pushing. This rook is so bad. There's a lot of things you need to be careful about. Here Magnus just played knight to c3, and here I mean went for knight takes uh, because it's a free pawn. But this is kind of mistake because of rook takes on d4. And I want you to count uh, count with me, guys, how many brilliant moves that um, Hikaru will play in this game. We have bishop takes and not knight takes because that's just losing. Of course, there's knight to b5, and now you either will lose a piece. I mean, you, you just lose it for free, or you will go for tactics. The best move here, and this is what I mean best in played, is bishop takes, rook. And now there's knight takes and pawn takes. And if you calculate this position, kind of black is the one who's happy because he got two rooks for a queen, yeah, and he got some pawns. So, like two pawns for black. So material, uh, like uh, mathematically, Black is happy here, but the problem for Black is that the pieces are so bad here. And if uh, Basim started to play something like this and bring his pieces, probably he will be happy. But Magnus, uh, I mean Hikaru, sorry, didn't uh, let him do that, and he went for h4. We have d5, and now we have queen to d1. He's uh, trying to to take um, uh, to take the the bishop. We have bishop to b1, and now we have again queen to b3 is trying to take the bishop. A bishop back to a1, and now queen to b1, and now queen to, uh, I mean bishop to c3, and queen to c1. So he's just trying to hunt the bishop out of this uh, position. We have d4, and now we have h5 by, uh, by Hikaru. He's just going for chaos. And like I said, black is just having the like the worst um, uh, pieces here. If he managed just to bring them to the game, then he will be happy. But Hikaru is not letting him have that. Knight back to h8, only move, and now we have e5. Just trying e5, probably find a way uh, to sack the bishop and go for the checkmate. 
uh, rook to uh, e8, he's activating his rook, and now this beautiful move. I said, account with me how many brilliant move, and this is brilliant move number two from, uh, from Hikaru. Of course, the idea is that if you go here, the thing is, it's not about mate because you can block, but I will just take it, and the problem here, this square is just so good, you know, and you can't really defend it, so you don't really want to go for that. I mean, didn't took, but he played h4, uh, h6, with the idea that now you don't have any check, and you don't have also this move, so kind of, uh, I can probably take somehow. And here he went again for queen to f4, saying, okay, if you want to take, it's the same thing. I will just go here, and I don't want to check here or here also, I can just take here immediately and, and, and check meet you uh, on the g, uh, uh, g7 square. So black is just having the worst possible position, just from from a kind of equal into, <laughs> into some, some very chaotic position. Uh, we have bishop b4, he's trying to bring the bishop to the defense here, and now we have uh, bishop to d3, very beautiful move, he's playing also on uh, light squares, uh, these d5 and bishop takes. And reason because bishop takes is just the best move here because after takes there's check. And in this position, uh, Basim, I mean, resigns because he got nothing to play for. I mean, uh, if you go like let's say here, uh, I can just take here and I have also this, and it's just really, really bad position. And yeah, that was the game, it was a very, very uh, chaotic game. But also it was short because uh, in time, like they took a lot of time to think. But in general, uh, when it comes to moves, I, I don't remember. Like probably they played only 16 moves and I mean was just crushed by, by Hikaru. Because Hikaru have the better understanding of, of, of this, uh, those structures and those, uh, those games. So yeah, that was the game guys. So in the second game, uh, Magnus didn't go for um, bishop to f1 or anything else. He went for knight to a3. A beautiful move here and Vichy went for knight to a5 so he's uh, attacking both uh, queen and bishop and here Magnus needs to do something and also he needs to keep an eye on uh, the knight so he went for queen to a4 and now Vichy went for knight to, to c6 so everything is very logical so far. Magnus here took the pawn and we see queen to c5. And just to explain to you guys, it's very, very easy for you to blunder if you are not aware of positions and if you are not aware of general ideas in, in those positions. And for both players, they are just like unaware of, of this position, of course, and they don't know the general ideas to play. And Vichy, with this move, is trying to go for this pawn. So he says, okay, your pawn is hidden, so you need to do something about it. But what Vichy Anand uh, really, uh, you know, didn't so, uh, so <laughs> is that after rook to d5, and this is what Magnus play, you can of course take, because this is the only only move here, you can't really go back to, to e7, you can't go back to any, any other square, so the only move here is to take, but after you take, I just move my, my king, and your queen is getting trapped, because, I mean, you don't have any great squares for your queen to go, so the only square, and this is what Vichy went for, is queen to b2, right? You are just going for the only free square. But here it also doesn't do anything, because after rook to b1, if you are trying to take here, I will just go rook to d3, and your queen is totally trapped now. So the best move for you is just to give up your uh, your rook and you're just down a queen for um, for a rook and just two pawns, which is ridiculously bad. But more or so, it's the same idea, uh, like uh, idea of the, the other game. Your pieces are very very bad. So to add injury to that, it's just like pieces are so so bad. So. I mean, after that, uh, Vichy didn't went for that that sequence with uh, queen takes on c3, but he went for queen takes on a3. So he's taking the piece, and after queen takes, I'm taking another piece. So he's thinking, aha, at least I have two minor pieces now. We have queen to a4, and now we have knight to, uh, to e3. He's trying to take uh, the rook. But this is kind of like just kind of, it's not, I will not say a plunder because it's already lost with this position. That allowed Magnus to go for this beautiful move with the idea that now you can take whatever you like. If you take here, I will just go for that. And this is what happened. So Vichy went for uh, knight takes on d5 and Magnus went for 
uh, rook takes on c uh, on c6. So both pieces now are hidden. It's either you move your piece or you take the the uh, the rook. And at the end of the line, I'm just up like I don't know million material, and, and I will just win. And in this position, Vichy Island uh, resigns. So yeah, that was round one. It was very fun and um, very tricky because both players uh, playing black they had something in in some specific uh, like uh, moves but in general they lost uh very very easily to to magnus and to to hikaru so yeah uh that was uh, the two games guys uh, i hope you enjoyed them and see you in next videos goodbye uh